on how you might be able to buy a hearing aid without the need for a medical prescription. Yeah, and you'll be able to do that at your local pharmacy coming up very soon. It is thanks to a new rule issued by the FDA. The hope is to make hearing aids more accessible to those who need them, but some medical experts warn that these amplifiers may do more harm than good. Our Tom Kowalski has the story for us tonight. Amplifiers amplify everything. So if I did this or I'm talking, everything is amplified. We don't need that. Starting later this year, you'll be able to buy a hearing aid over the counter without the need of a medical prescription, if you're over 18. However, some experts warn not to get a hearing aid without consulting a doctor first. If you get a hearing aid over the counter and it is an amplifier, nothing is driving that. There's no mapping there. Every sound is going to be amplified. The new FDA rule, which goes into effect in mid-October, would make hearing aids more accessible and possibly less expensive. The average cost of a hearing aid in Pennsylvania, right around $2,700 for an essential one. They could go up to $10,000 for the set. Uh, it depends on what you're looking at and what you want to achieve. But Sheffelbein says there are programs to help those who need hearing aids. Are there programs to help you? And yes, there are. Um, and I'm proud to say uh, a few of those programs in Pennsylvania I've been a part of, um, and they work for people. But Sheffelbein stresses that without a proper prescription, an over-the-counter hearing aid can do more harm than good. I could go to the store and get a pair of glasses, uh, but they're not going to help me. We need a specialist to test you to see where your hearing loss is and to make that device according to your hearing loss. From Affordable Care Hearing Aid, Tom Kowalski, Hearing News Now. And this new rule is for those with perceived mild to moderate hearing impairment. We have more information on our website when you click on this story right on erienewsnow.com. We'll be right back.